song hey you guys long time no see all right what's going on in this video I'll be making an alignment tool and uh, I actually made I actually had one video but I split it into two parts because it was too long so uh, after this video I'll be putting out uh, another one and I will be aligning the frame so uh, expect to see that this weekend as well all right, so uh, this alignment tool, I did not invent this tool. This tool uh, was developed by Han Rossman and Alex Wetmore. Here's an example of how the tool is used. You can see Alex uh, Wetmore has it attached to a height gauge. And uh, I was totally going to do that too, which is why I bought this cheapo height gauge. But then I decided not to attach mine to a gauge because I thought I might want my um, my height gauge to actually measure the height of something and uh, I didn't want to keep taking the the frame alignment tool on and off putting it on and off so long story short I decided to make my own just uh, for the record it is a lot easier to just buy one so I do encourage that but uh, sometimes I like to do things the hard way for learning experience as you guys may have noticed. <clears throat> Tube bender. Here I am milling a few channels so that the gauge can slide up and down on the 8020. And this angle here, I machined this to be precise. I didn't show it, so sorry about that. Eighty twenty is kind of overkill. It's uh, entirely possible to use something lighter but I used 8020 because I had it lying around. My uh, homemade scotch bright disc. I made this by hot gluing it to an old sanding disc. And uh, <clears throat> this is a cement trowel. Just kidding. It's a stamping tool that I had made a year ago. I'm uh, using magnets as a stop to align the plate.
Alright guys, that wraps up part one of the frame alignment videos. I'll be releasing the next video really soon, and in that video I'll align a frame. So do stop by for that, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit.